listening to AM 1220 KDOW, the Bay Area's business leader. And welcome to Punch, media and marketing made easy. Helping you explore new marketing and social media trends that will give you that extra punch in your marketing strategy. Now, here's your host for Punch, media and marketing made easy, Erica Taylor Montgomery. Good morning and welcome to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy is a show that covers everything that you need to know to punch through your competition and deliver that total knockout when it comes to public relations, marketing, social media, branding, advertising, and so much more. I'm the founder and CEO of Three Girls Media and Marketing, which is a public relations and social media marketing agency that specializes in working with small and mid-sized companies companies with very cost-effective solutions. And you can find us online at threegirlsmedia.com. That's threegirlsmedia.com. We are live this morning, and we're going to be able to take your calls throughout the hour, and I really appreciate you joining me. We've got another great lineup for you today. In round one of Punch, we're going to be talking to a couple of marketing experts about advertising strategies. How can you advertise on a shoestring budget, and how do you break through the advertising clutter? And then in round two of Punch today, we're going to be talking with a search engine optimization specialist about what you need to know about SEO. What exactly is it, and why should you, a local business person, care about it? You can find the full lineup of upcoming guests as well as the archives of Punch online at punchmarketing.biz. That's punchmarketing.biz. And there's a couple of great events coming up that I wanted to uh, make sure that you know about. First of all, next Wednesday is Black Wednesday off the cuff. It's an after hours event happening from five to seven in the uh, evening at Spin a Yarn Steakhouse in Warm Springs. And you can come out to this very informal mixer, have the opportunity to meet Rob Black, KDOW's morning guy. I will also be there along with several other KDOW hosts. And this is a terrific opportunity for you to come by, uh, meet me, meet Rob Black. Uh, feel free to bring by your press releases or your marketing plans for me to look at. I'd be more than happy to do that. And if you'd like input on your social media efforts, I will have my iPad handy and we can take a look at your accounts there as well. Uh, so that's happening next Wednesday, September 5th, 5 to 7, Spin a Yarn Steakhouse in Warm Springs in Fremont. And then coming up on October 17th, I'm doing a speaking engagement in Campbell uh, in the South Bay. And that's going to be from 10 a.m. to noon. And I'm going to be covering 10 great free and low-cost public relations resources for your business. You'll be able to find out what stories hundreds of journalists across the country are working on so you can be a resource for them. I'm going to teach you a very easy way to create videos for your website that's also terrific for your search engine optimization. Uh, I'll teach you how to keep tabs on your competitors, how to save enormous time and energy with your social media efforts, and so much more. And then on top of all of that, we're going to have a brief opening topic where Jerry Bates of Fitting Sites, who's been a guest on punch a couple of times before is going to be sharing seven essential WordPress plugins for your business. This is all happening on Wednesday, October 17th in Campbell. And to register for that, it's very easy to do. Simply go to webstrategycamp.com. That's webstrategycamp.com. All right, let's jump right into round one of today's show, Advertising Strategies. Our guests are Reed Stone and Sean Walker of Hero Farm. And Hero Farm is a marketing strategy and design company that has a really strong social mission. And Sean and Reed founded it in 2009. Now, Hero Farm was also selected as Business of the Year 2011 by the International Association of Business Communicators, New Orleans, which I think is an amazing uh, bit of recognition. Reed and Sean, welcome to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. Thank you. Hi, Eric. Appreciate Thanks so much for having us on. Yeah, absolutely. So I know you guys are based in New Orleans and have just come through Hurricane Isaac. How are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, we're making it <laughs> doing well uh, i'm actually i'm on i'm on a cell phone helping a friend move in so if i have spotty service i do apologize um we're we're just a little, i'm a little north of new orleans right now i think sean's a little further out in metairie um you know just trying to help where we can and i'm actually helping a friend move back in right now so uh but, you know we're doing good we can't can't really complain working on my tan while i'm doing it good good well i'm glad you guys <laughs> came through it relatively unscathed and i'm happy to have you on the show this morning 
Happy so, to be here. So why don't we start with the uh, the absolute basics? Uh, what are some things that startups or small to mid-sized companies should know about marketing in order to get their name out there? All right. Well, um, I tell you, one of the biggest things and the thing that we start with with most of our, our business that we work with, work with a lot of small to medium size. And what's really funny is that everyone considers themselves a small business. No matter how, if they have 200 employees, 500 employees, they all consider themselves a small business. So we use that. We use small to medium size a lot. But, you know, the biggest thing is making sure that all of those employees are working out of the same playbook. Um, because if you can't define your brand, then, you know, how do you expect someone else to be able to know exactly what your brand is all about? So one of the first things we do is start with some kind of brand brief or mantra or even if it's just a press release that everybody's working off of the same points about, you know, of the brand and working, you know, to the same end. That, that, that is just far and away one of the first things we have to do is put everybody in the same direction. I think that's a great place to start. You know, so often the employees are your mouthpiece of your business, and they're the people that are going to be introducing your company to other people who are potentially going to do business with you. So making sure that they understand your brand and know how to talk about it in the right way is critically important, and I think a great place to start. Um, So let's talk specifically about advertising strategy. You know, there are some small businesses that think in today's internet world with the advent of social media and things like that, that they don't really need to advertise at all. Um, what's your feeling on that? Do you think it's important for every business to advertise? Woo-hoo, Sean, take it away. Well, uh, it, it really depends what, uh, what your objective is. And so we, uh, we typically like to say that you need to have some kind of presence out there. And of course, these days uh, with social media and everything, word of mouth is one of the most powerful and important things. And so um, whether it's just doing a great job with customer service through your social media or um, or just being online or somewhere. You have to have some kind of touch point because a lot of people these days, the first place they go is online to check out a company. And so you have to have some kind of presence. And, uh, and that, that's one of the things. Even if you're not spending, spending a lot of money, you still need to be doing something because if you're Absolutely. not, your competitors are and you're just losing out there. So, yeah, and, and just to add on to that, you know, the, the one of the biggest things is stepping back, and I think this is kind of where we've we've made our mark is coming in and just taking a really objective look and saying, you know, well, to discover your product, your service, I'm going to go here, which is probably online somewhere to, to to see, you know, does the site work? Does the site work on a mobile phone? All right, step two, do I call or am I emailing the the owner? Uh, step three, am I driving up? Am I looking at the sign? You know. Every single touch point, and, and if you know, if you can't walk through that step by step, you know how how are they supposed to find you in the same manner that you want them to be there? So that, that's kind of a big thing, and you know, letting that dictate the mediums that you use is super, super important. Well, let's talk about mediums uh, when it comes to advertising then, because, you know, it used to be back in the day that your only options were print, uh, radio, and then there was the advent of television. And those are really the big three. But now with the advent of the internet and mobile marketing and smartphones and all of this, it's really changed the total overall landscape of advertising possibilities. So in your opinion, what mediums in today's age seem to work best for advertising? Well, I would say that, you know, that one of the first things you need to do is kind of figure, again, that, that, that ideal path to market that you want that person to take. So, you know, it, it, there are so many, and I think it really depends on what your product or service is. So, for instance, maybe it's Google AdWords. Uh, maybe it's an e-blast. Maybe it's um, advertising at the local cha- you know, with the local chamber of commerce. Or maybe it's something more guerrilla, like putting, you know, one sock in all of the uh, laundromats, dryers, that says, hey, new dating site for locals only, you know, and and going in a totally different creative route. But the idea is, you know, again, you've got to figure out who your ideal consumer is and see which which of the things that would reach them. If it reach, if it, you know, put yourself in that position, if it would reach you, odds are it's going to work. Do you think that there's still a place for print advertising in today's world? You know, I talk to so many uh, small business owners and I generally recommend against print advertising uh, today because it can be very, very costly and you have to do it repeatedly over and over and over again in order to really, um, you know, stake your claim and have your presence heard. Uh, What do you think about print? Uh, Eric, I agree with you 100 percent. The one thing, the one caveat to that, I will say, is if, you know, we always say beat them with creativity. If you can't beat them with budget, beat them with creativity. And so, for instance, if you think about the way that maybe Nike has used one page in the New York Times before. I know, I know this is kind of a big example, but this could work on a local level as well. Whereas, 
you know, they were all about, um, let's see, what was the, the last big controversy? It was something with their Nike women line. You know, they took an entire page out, and it, it basically was just this one small paragraph, big, huge image, and it said something very, very powerful. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm just kind of going to paraphrase here, but to the extent of, you know, we stand behind women of all body shapes, all sizes, all uh, talent levels, um, and we always will. And it was just this powerful, powerful message that didn't say, come buy our shoes, come buy our, you know, whatever else. It was just sort of this sort of empowerment thing. It was just so kind of, uh, I guess, different from what you would maybe expect, and they use it in sort of a new way. So I will say that, you know, print could be used in that way. It could be, you know, you could have something where you tear out and you use it in sort of a three-dimensional type way. Maybe it's an origami coupon that, that puts together. You know, you're using it in kind of a different way, but I'm with you 100%. Traditional ads, uh, you know, in, in traditional mediums like that just tend to just really be kind of fall on deaf ears and deaf eyes. Terrific. When we come back from the break, we're going to talk a little bit about guerrilla marketing and also can you afford an advertising agency? We'll get to that when we come back. You're listening to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and this is 1220 AM KDOW.